And we've got two cubes already for the Blue Alliance, one cone for the Red Alliance. And we've got Las Pumas working on getting an engagement on the charge station for the Red Alliance. Now we have Reckless Robotics working on doing the same for the Blue, but they just barely ran out of time. Olympus Robotics working on grabbing another cube for the Blue Alliance. Placing it into the co-op grid. Into the top row. Got Super Duper getting a, this cube in the same place for the Red Alliance. Penn Robotics coming in with a cube in the top row of another grid for the Red Alliance. Olympus Robotics coming in with another cube for the Blue Alliance. Got Las Pumas coming in with a cube for the Red Alliance. Looks like they're working on filling out that co-op grid. Penn places a cube for the Red Alliance. Super Duper coming in with a cone for the Red Alliance, getting their third game piece into the co-op grid, successfully reducing that sustainability threshold. Olympus Robotics working on pushing that cone in for the Blue Alliance. We've got Super Duper coming in with another cone, completing another link for the Red Alliance, getting them their fourth link in that extra ranking point. Olympus Robotics working on placing a cone for the Blue Alliance. Now we've got Reckless Robotics and Olympus Robotics working together for the Blue Alliance to try to get their charge station docked and engaged. We've got Las Pumas and Super Duper doing the same for the Red Alliance and they're able to balance. Will Blue Alliance be able to do the same? They have nine seconds left. Oh, it looks like they're going for the triple dog as Slicer Tech comes in to join them. But will they be able to get balanced with one second left? And it looks like they ran out of time. Let's see how these scores shake out. And we are ready to see the results of the match. And the winner is the Red Alliance. With the final score of 133, earning four ranking points and keeping Super Duper in first place and Penn in third.